Were you getting some extra work in there after practice, or what, what was going on? Yeah, just to get some extra work in. Uh, you know, I didn't like the practice I liked, so uh, just getting some extra work and really have to get back to that. Uh, something that I had at Penn State, it's a tr uh, tradition of mine, so just really getting back to the basics, um, and that's pretty much it. So what kind of things were you doing after? Uh, just catching on uh, the ball but while moving. You know, a lot of times uh, people will stand around stationary, you know, move catching, uh, catching the ball, but I think um, what I need to do is just move around a little bit, catch the ball so I can get myself going. And I guess it, uh, I guess it takes away some uh, lactic acid, you know, after practice, just running around a little bit. But yeah, just something to, you know, keep going after practice. And, um, you know, we only catch a couple of balls during practice, so get some extra work in is always good. Coach Bo was talking about possibly at one point or another putting you in the slot and using you in there. And mm -hmm. with a guy like Addison behind you out on the outside, that's, sure. that's a lot more size. It's a ton of size. Out yeah, uh, and, and that's a, uh, and that's a credit to you know BA. You know BA's uh, done a great job this off season. You know, you know what he's done using his body. You know, create a catch and jump ball and stuff like that. And it kind of creates you know some ability for me to move inside and you know help, help uh, you know tight ends block a little bit, help the line a little bit. Um, you know, get red sprung out. You know, uh, uh, Johnny uh, spread out too. So you know, just getting them guys moving us around, some moving parts. You know, give us a get the defense a little bit of a different look. You ever had any history playing in the slot? Uh, no, honestly, I've, I've always been outside, so going inside is a bit of a change. Uh, definitely different. Um, I've never even thought of, you know, playing inside, so that's pretty different for me. Well, why is it definitely different? Uh, because, you know, it's, it's a new world in there. You know, you, you can go inside and outside. I mean, I know uh, outside you can you know, go both ways, but, you know, inside it's a whole different world. you got to face safeties and, and corners and read linebackers, and it's such a different world. And, you know, I commend guys like, you know, Micah and Red because those two – you gotta be smart to play that position. So um, it's definitely you know raising my IQ of football and you know, letting me go out there and do some things I've never done before. No knocks on Barone or hockey to that end, but what do you think when you're going up when you line up across against a guy who's much shorter than you? Yeah. Uh, what goes through your mind? In I'm, well, well, I mean, hockey's a pretty tall guy. He's yeah. not a small guy, but um, you know it's different because because you they, they, have, they play different techniques. You know, sometimes they play catch. Sometimes they'll sit there, or sometimes they'll play, you know, in the third level. So it's different to try to read, and, and you have to use a lot of your speed um, rather than on the inside than on the outside. You can get away uh, with a lot more things on the outside, but on the inside, you know, you have a lot of space in there. So there's some things I have to use in my technique that I'm I'm building with Coach Bo, uh, leaning on Red and Micah for those for those instances, and trying to see what I can do um, playing inside. How much is Micah growing every day? He's grown tremendously. Uh, we, we knew he was going to be somebody big coming in here, but you know, he's definitely making his mark on the team uh, ever since you know summer even started. So, uh, you know, just keeping him level-headed, just keeping his head down, keep working because he's doing a great job so far. It's kind of a characteristic for him that, that jumps out. I mean, I know you mentioned that his football IQ is yeah. up there. And yeah. He likes to talk about his hands. Yeah. What, what for you is kind of um, that's Yeah, it's cool. definitely his hands. I mean, he, he's a guy that he's, he's going to catch everything. He's I, He reminds me a lot of – like Golden Tate, he reminds me a lot of a guy like Golden Tate, just the way how he runs his routes and, and how, you know, he, he knows how to use his body, he knows how to get to the football. And that's a guy that I always, you know, compared him to is like Golden Tate. What went through your mind, Juwan, when, when Brendan did go down? Because compared to freshmen who, you know, they haven't been mm -hmm. in a room before where that's kind of happened with a veteran right. guy. But you've, you've been around before, you've seen it happen. Yeah. You know he'll be back, but yeah. you're new to the room too. So right. what, what kind of went through your mind? Um, it's tough. And that's, and that's for guys like me and, you know, B.A. and – and Johnny, for for us guys to step up on the outside, you know that's something that when we see you know schooler go down, you know we gotta we gotta step up and be guys for him. You know we we gotta we gotta play this first half of the season for him and let him you know rehab him so when he gets back, it's just like he never left or it's not a fall off. We all raise our level of competition. You know all the spots are open obviously, and we just gotta keep working. Ultimately, we know we're doing it every day, and uh, schooler's got our back. You know he's he's been coaching us up um, on his scooter, but um he's been, we we all been doing a great job so far. He's still in the room with you guys, you know, breaking down film and maybe kind of bringing in that pseudo yeah. coach sort of role. Mm -hmm. what's, it, what's he like in there with you guys? Uh, he's good. I mean, he's just like, you know, he, he never got injured. I mean, he's just still the same guy, uh, still answering questions, uh, still asking questions. So that's a guy, you know, in the room that, that we need, you know, especially for those young guys who don't know exactly what they're doing or exactly need help or a uh, certain technique or coverage or things like that. He's a guy that they always lean to. You know, they, they, they lean on school to answer questions like that, and, and he's valuable for, uh, to our room. Have you been impressed with how hardworking Travis Dye is? Yeah, I have. You know, Travis, Travis is really good. You know, even when you know, there's like an interception or something, like, he's like the first one to run down. He's on the sideline. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you never see that from like 
anybody else but him. He's one of the hardest workers on the team, and, it's, and it shows because you've seen it. I've seen it last year, you know, just looking at the film on the highlights, but, you know, definitely seeing that in person is something different for me because I've never seen that before. Who's been the most impressive in camp for you? Uh, I want to say Johnny. Johnny has been uh, consistent this whole time. You know, he's, you know, from, from day one, he, he's hit the ground rolling. Um, when Schooley went down, he just raised his level in competition. That's just somebody that you know, I've been leaning on uh, since camp started. It's him because, you know, he's just, just been so consistent just coming up to practice and working every day. You think Travis could be pretty uh, dangerous as a returner? Absolutely. You know, Travis is uh, he's quick. He has vision. and You know, he's smart with the ball. You know, that's one guy that I know that he can – that you can trust him with the ball when he has it, you know, especially him being a running back. So uh, he knows what he's doing, especially in the backfield. So, I mean, I don't, I don't doubt him any bit. As a wide receiver, are you as superstitious about your helmet as Antonio Brown is? <laughs> I want to say no comment, but uh, <laughs> okay. okay. no, nah, nah, not necessarily. I mean, I, mean I, I know where he's coming from in terms of him having a helmet ever since. You know, he, he probably started playing football, but you know, um, for me in that instance, and you know, I just put on the helmet and play. Uh, you know, I just play the game. But I know where he's coming from in terms of, you know, it's kind of his, his ritual or whatever the case may be. But that's something that he has. That's his opinion, and I have my opinion. Are you superstitious about anything? Not really. I mean, I, I am kind of superstitious. If I don't have, if I don't put blessed oil on in the morning, I get pretty freaked out. So uh, I've, I've been doing that every morning. If I don't do that, it's, I, I don't like the outcome of the day. With your experience at Last Penn question. State, can you uh, kind of compare a little bit Justin Herbert and Trace McSorley? Again? With your experience at Penn State, obviously you had a quarterback went to the NFL and Trace McSorley. Can you kind of compare the person and the player between McSorley and Justin Herbert? Uh, I want to say they're pretty similar in terms of holding an offense accountable. You know, Trace, is, Trace was always a guy who held the team accountable and kind of spoke up about it, and Justin is more – he leads by action. You know, he's one of a guy that, you know, we, we get back up, he lets the play go that, that was passed, and, you know, we keep going. And, that, and that's sort of how Justin is. He's, he's a guy that's going to, you know, pick you up and, and keep going, and he leads by action. And Trace, on the other hand, he's more of a hands-on, and he's, he's more of a, uh, you know, a rowdy guy, not in terms of, like, getting in your face, but, you know, just picking the guys back up vocally. And that's just something that he's done. And, and on the football field, I mean, they both they do the same thing. They, they have a personal aroma about them that, Everyone wants to be around and, and everyone likes. So uh, just to commend them too, for me to play with them too is, is something, something amazing.